Hello everyone, Amanda here and just coming to share a lovely parcel that I have received from my wonderful friend Kay who is Kazakins on YouTube um, and so I'm going to share it with you. I had a little peek, I'm not going to lie, I did have a little peek. Um, I love getting parcels from Kay. Now she does have her wonderful bead shop over on Facebook. I'll leave all of the links in the description box below. Kay makes bespoke things with beads, but her her chap, her other half, the lovely Gara, also makes things from glass and he actually makes the glass himself. He fires it or whatever the technical term is, you know, um, actually makes the actual physical real glass. <laughs> and so she sent me some of these because this is one of the new things that he's creating. Um, aimed at journal makers and these are like little well she Kay calls them little mushrooms and these are actually handmade hand fired from glass um, whatever the technical term I'll leave a link to Gary's channel in the description box below as well um, and basically what you do is you can um, add these to the front cover of your journal and then wrap your seam binding or what it, whatever closure you decide around those so they're, they're basically closing posts um, but they're handmade um, glass they're absolutely beautiful look at those really really pretty um, so I'll leave the links for where you can find those and we have some lovely charms here made by Kay. Look at these. I love them. I put them on tags. I put them on my um, journal pages. So those are um, some little glass heart beads there. Um, on the um, garment tags, I call these. They're absolutely lovely. So thanks for those, Kay. That's very, very kind. And she sent me a little card. And um, let me just... Oh, it's, is it stuck down? Oh, it is. Just stuck it down and um, let's have a look. Oh, that's lovely, isn't it? Let me just have a look. Um, uh, thank you for being a good friend. Oh, I think Kay's the awesome friend. And I'll just say she sent me these. Oh, I'm super excited. These are tickets. Kay has a, a die. Um, that makes ticket shapes so these are going to be brilliant for in my journal she sent me a heap of them she's awesome thank you very much Kay um, all sorts of colours so yeah it's like a ticket and it's got the stitched edge as well so those are for my journal making and my tag making so I'll be using some of those I'll have a play with those over the weekend what's this she sent me oh wow these are the little the what they are, um, the tea bag um, pouches. I don't want to. I don't. I hate spoiling toppers. Here we go. It's opening at the bottom. And basically, people buy them to brew their own tea. But some crafters use these in their journal making um, and make little little pockets out of them. So they're little tea bags. Um, oh, that's awesome. Thank you. Um, so you could make little pouches or you could use them for little bags for things but um, commonly journal makers are using them as, as, as you know like places to tuck things and put things in when they're making the journal. She sent me a whole heap there. That's very kind. Thank you Kay. Appreciate that. I'll be getting put to one side. Um, and we've got some more. Look at these. Wow that she's made. As I say I'll leave links over to... Um, in the description box below, I can't get in this one, Kay. What you done? Super glued it. Uh, oh, she don't want me to get in this. Ah, there we go. I'll leave links to Kay's channel and her Facebook selling and to Gary's YouTube channel where you can actually watch him making the glass. Um, and Kay does, he's making these for journal makers and crafters. Um, it saves you the time of making them. I don't have all of these bits and bobs and the findings. Um, I'm really actually quite rubbish at opening and closing just the jump rings. I'm <laughs> There's a certain knack to it. I just don't have. 
and these are awesome these are like little fairies and they've got the lobster claw on so I don't have to go start trailing eBay or whatever looking for bits and bobs it's all done for me so you'd be able to purchase these from K ready made um, and that saves that is going to save me a heap of time um, if I wanted to re-gift one I could re-gift one I might be selfish and keep them all to myself I'm not sure yet <laughs> Oh, look at these. Oh, wow, these are lovely. So, oh, these will be going in my, in one of my, um, definitely in one of my journals. Um, and these are some embellishments that the lovely Kay has made. And see how she's used the ticket there. It says admit one. Uh, I wonder which stamp that is. Hmm. And so she's layered up some heart shapes. Uh, just a simple little piece of crocheted lace there and a little flower. We've got the ticket and then a little die cut for a flash of flash of gold there. I, I think those are awesome, Kay. I really do like those and those have really inspired me. I, I think I might have a go at making some. Um, I do have some layering heart dies somewhere. Um, they're just not stitched edged. But yeah, that's a lovely, lovely idea. Um, no doubt. Okay, we'll have a video sharing these as well. So go and have a look. So that is my latest haul from the lovely Kazikins. Um, and these are just divine. I mean, they're, they're handmade. So they're one of each one is one of a kind. Um, you know, so if you love to make journals, some ladies make them and sell them. I really do think that these would be a very special element to your journals. Um... You could even use them on boxes or, or any kind of crafting. Those are stunning. I'm going to put them somewhere safe. Thank you ever so much. And thank you to Gary for, um, for bringing these to us. I think that's super lovely. Look at that. Um, really pretty. Thank you. So, that's my little haul. My little gift from Kay. She does spoil me. She's awesome. Um, so that, I'm going to, I have freed up my weekend, it's the bank holiday weekend in England, I have opened uh, a slot so that I can have a full day of crafting, I've got some swaps I need to catch up on, so I'm going to be having a go at these, I'm finishing off my journals, so um, I might share with you when I've done. So do hop on over and check Kay out if you haven't already. I do share her stuff an awful lot. She's a very good friend of mine. And do go and check Gary out. And um, I'll see you again very soon. Bye.